<laughs> Good morning. Just trying out some more buttons. <laughs> Good morning to you, Kerry Ann. Good morning. It's lovely to see you here. It's a interesting morning outside as far as the weather goes for a Sunday morning. Uh, looking like it's going to be a cool day, but that's all right too. We have our seasons, don't we? And good morning, Keza. Beautiful sounds. Yes. There you go. Um, it's not easy being multitasked, so I may not do that again. It's hard getting the mouse control happening at the same time as playing that, at the same time as other things, but that's all right. I'm trying it, trying it out. <laughs> I can be very trying too. So good morning, lovely from uh, Diane there. Thank you, so peaceful. It is. It's why I thought, well, it's one of the things as I'm learning a little more about um, ECAM using that and live streaming, the intro needs to have some music and I do agree with that. It's what we've been, we're being taught and I do believe that we do need to have some sort of music. So, um, Ruth, good morning to you. You'd appreciate a reading. You need to book in for that. Um, these are the free general Lenneman cards. So they're a general card spread reading. So you need to be tapping in to your spiritual connections. So do ask them in and see what they might have for you as the messages as we move through the reading. Um, okay, so that's the way that I do these at the 8 o'clock every morning. So, and good morning, Nikki. So did I, oh, tremor? No, <laughs> I didn't even know. Roll through your house at 721, a bit unmoving. Do you know, I didn't even take, no. And I've been awake, of course. I've been up since about 6. Um Oh, really? No, I didn't notice it. Oh, I'm going to have to take some, a bit more notice, hadn't I? Oh, no, not buttons here, yeah, Diane. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more buttons coming up and different ways of doing things with the eCam. I've even got the eCam fam shirt on today because I want to do some practice and interviews and stuff. So, yes, some buttons. And my beautiful haircut. Oh, thank you, Nikki. I'm looking at it and thinking, well, I, it's just... The shorter is fine. It's taking a bit to get used to it, but it's not as easy. I can't put it up like I could before, um, which is sort of what I wanted not to have to handle manage it, but uh, I'm still a bit, it goes buffy-ish. It, it's fun. It's fun having different styles and cuts, isn't it, though? And Michaela, good morning to you. Oh, thank you. And <laughs> Nikki, woman of many talents. Um, what's that saying? Um, you know, something or other and master and none. I just have fun. Look, life is about fun, being happy. It's, um, it's not an absolute necessity, all of this stuff. It's just following what I find joy in. So, yes, and it is. It's beautiful, beautiful sounds. So I think I brought them out because I did have a sound uh, session yesterday. I do sound healings. So... I uh, took one and it was wonderful, so there you go. And I think that's probably why I thought to bring them out this morning. So you need to play my intro, Mr. Oh, yes, it was just a little bit of the flute playing. <laughs> and it was a tre the tremor, so it was a tremor. Oh, wow. No, and who's that's so Nikki and Diane saying there was a tremor, 3.8. Um, there you go. I'm going to have to take a bit more notice, aren't I? I didn't realise. I didn't feel it. Not that I'm aware of. And happy Sunday to everyone from Michelle as well. So thank you. So the epicenter was at Mount Barker. Oh, might need to ask Leanne that one, whether they felt it. I dare say they would have. Yeah. Anyway, we'll keep on with the daily anime card spread reading. So I'll press another button and we'll go over to the cards. Now, as you know, on our weekends I do choose a different deck oh hang on there we go and I have got the blue bird Lenneman deck out this time and I had it yesterday too I think from memory so that's there we've got the little instruction book that comes with the the deck uh, this is the back of the cards and of course these are what you'll see when you open up the deck and shuffle and choose your cards or the cards choose you and that's what you'll be presented with. These ones in particular have a little first. And uh, it's interesting. So I am going to read all four. 
and then do the explanation. So the first one that I laid down, I'll just put my Apple Pencil to the side. Yeah, that's right. So the first one I laid down was this one. So it's the mice. I always like the mice in the regular deck I use, the Ciro Marchetti one. Um, the verses do bring a certain different meaning to them than what I tend to use, but they're all valid. What do you feel when you see mice? So the robber mice take your treasure inside the house and they steal with pleasure. Hope's not foregone when this card is near. Once the mice are gone, you regain what is dear. So it's virtually saying they're only here for a short time and then they are gone. Uh, then I think I went and laid down this one, which is the anchor card. And um, what we have with the anchor, the little verse that goes with that. I'm having a bit of difficulty focusing. There we go. The anchor is a sign of a stable event, but Bast in sunshine, secure and content. When the anchor's some distance away from you, hope will fade and leave life askew. Now, because that one is, this anchor is, it's not in the grand tableau, grand tableau. That's where these verses will kick in because of the uh, grand tableau being the full 36 card spread and their reference to further away and near to you. But this is near to us. So that's how I'll be interpreting that piece of the verse. And this was the, oh, hang on, that wasn't the next one. This was the next one, the child under the mice. So here we go with card 13. When a sweet, sweet child smiles your way, innocence brings joy to fill your day. Friends are many, enemies are few. Embrace a fresh start in all you do. And it is about the new journey. So there we go with the child. And this was the fourth card. The fox. So the fox is sly. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> ah, focus, 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 focus. This is the technology, isn't it? Let's go. Ah, the fox is sly. Friend is too. Someone may try to deceive you. With wily glances, the renard snaps. Evade deception and beware old traps. So here we go with the fox card. Now let's see how we're going to actually interpret those as a reading, as the message that we're getting today because, oh, I've got some more. Oh, there we go. Kim, you're mentioning that it's another windy, rainy day in your it's part of Sydney, yeah. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, it, it's looking like it's going to rain here too. And a welcome to those who are on the Body Soul app too. I've just noticed the cards shifting there as I'm glancing at my iPad. I am going out to my YouTube channel, the Ros Boundy page on Facebook, the MyTimeTV.live page on Facebook. It's a card reading group that's a private group. You can ask to join if you like. That's Ros Boundy Psychic Medium Card Reading Group, I think and the body soul app i do have some description there on how to download that in my page i think is that the profile anyway ask me and i'll send you a link or a description we're here for the reading <laughs> i keep getting distracted don't i so here we go i've got the whoop, what one was it first that we had it was this one it was the mice so with that one it is the, yes, they can come in and, and be like little thieves and they're usually in the dark corners and hiding away when they're doing that. No, it just depends. If it's quieter the night and you're sleeping, they'll be out and about in, you know, roaming around if you've got the uh, little critters present. Uh, they're using what they need to, to continue on with, with their survival. It's a natural thing for the mice. So if you see them, it's just that they're, and for this, it's a, it's a warning for today. Remember, this is the reading for today. It is a warning for today to just be careful of things that might be going missing or uh, little deceptions that are behind your back, hence the fox. But it's those, uh, you know, it's the, little, it's the little warning to be aware of what's going be, beyond what your visual is. So have a care for what is there. Um, that you're wanting to keep carefully looked after and make sure that it's in those safe containers and things like that or that you've got your boundary set up for that that is relationships so that you're not having someone 
uh, taking away your power, I suppose, by surreptitious means in the way that sometimes we can with our relationships. Yeah, and that usually is in the form of gossip and rumours and things like that. So don't listen to them. Um, it, it's no good arguing about things that you don't have control over. Just allow, you know, they'll have their little nibbles and then they'll go. So let it be. Of course, when it's something more uh, substantial, that's where you would do something about that. But, you know, sometimes what's the, there is a saying around the fools, fools and their money are seen part of. No, there's another one that's to do, oh, look, arguing with people that's making, you know, it's no point arguing with a fool or something like that. Um, I'm feeling that sort of a, an issue through the day to day. Just be in your own sense of awareness and have that open mind, open mind, open ears, you know, all of your senses as to what's happening around you so that you can curtail anything before it gets too big. And this is where for the start of our day, we really are settling with that anchor in our own strength, being able to uh, maintain that stability throughout our day, maintaining our sense of surety of self of being able to move forward in our day from that childlikeness that we're going to be able to experience in the playfulness and the joy and happiness through our day. It is a Sunday. It is for a lot of us a day of rest, play, family, joining together in worship if we have that level of faith that we follow a religious pathway. All of those things, it brings in that stability for our day and that playfulness and the joy, the adventures, the possibilities because for children it is all about being new things to explore and what we have being straight under the mice it really is that investigating all those little nooks and crannies and corners and being surprised because when you see a mouse in front of you at times it's surprising you what's your first reaction it's a squeal um, whether it's fear for me it's not it's just surprise and it, because it, I'm not afraid of mice, it's just that it's that surprise. And I do say with those who had that little, you know, this epicenter of a uh, quake tremor that's there, 3.8, that would have been a surprise to anyone that actually felt it. You go, oh, or whatever your response might be. Um, for some, it's just that squeal of surprise. And isn't it wonderful? Uh, it's just those squeals of excitement and happiness as children young ones explore and find out new things and it's the the giggles and laughter and oh what a joy today having that as that central energy for our day today look for it feel it be it yourself with the fox there then it's like what we're having there is a, a bit more of an opening awareness too around with the verse that's in this card it is the deception and something that's happening with a friend. Now, how close that friend may be or not, um, you know, stand in what is your own beliefs and your own understandings. And if you feel that there is something that is a bit bigger than just, uh, you know, a misunderstanding, it needs to be dealt with. And um, I'll just bring that forward because I can't quite remember the verse itself. Uh, there was something about it. Someone may try to deceive you. So the, the and I had to look up what Renard is. It's just French for fox. It, or, or no, sorry, it's it's a German uh, origin of fox. That's what it's called, Renard. Evade the deception and wear, beware old traps. It's sometimes we don't learn from that first lesson we're meant to learn in how we've had someone treat us or you know, that manipulative or the sense of, you know, oh, they want something and will fall for it. You know, it's it's really having your strength in standing your ground and not being caught out by it again and just learning to say, no, I'm not going to go there again. So sometimes just that simple. So I'm really feeling, you know how kids, young children especially around that, you know, you're starting to try to train them, you know, because we all need a little level of training from when we're babies. It's teaching, it's training, it's not, uh, you know, it's just what is the preferred direction you would like them to do things or something isn't quite acceptable. You say no and, the, and or you want them to do something, clean up your own note. At that, so there's always that to fight. No, 
Um, do learn to say no, though, in the right and appropriate way, okay? That's how I'm feeling all of this energy. It really is that standing, it's having that stable day of happiness, joy. I'm hearing the giggles. It really is having some fun. And anything else that might show up, having that awareness all the time, being open to hearing, seeing and sensing that that's not quite right and being able to say no, but it's in a good way so that you are then progressing and learning what you need to as those lessons that we have in life for each and every one of us, isn't it really? And we've got Mlange, oh, that's a very lovely name, but I can't quite pronounce it, Mlajana, something like that. Oh, that's that sounds wonderful. It would be wonderful to be able to hear that said. But anyway, <laughs> there you go. Thank you for popping in. And Emily, um, you need to know your future around a current relationship. Look, tap into that energy with your spiritual guidance yourself. Have a look through these cards. Like there is only four to see. Guide, have the, whoopsie, sorry. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Keza. You need to go off to work or something, are you? Thank you. Um, but Emma, Emily, do tap into, have a look. And this is the same thing for everyone. Now that, you know, if you're wanting to go back over and watch the replay just to, to get the gist of what those verses were meaning or even my explanation, but have a look at the cards even now. Which does your eye go to first? What has the most powerful um, pull for you? Where are you drawn to? And really tap into that, your future of your current relationship. What are you actually feeling? Be led, connect, ask your spirit, uh, ask your angels in whatever way, Emily, that you do connect with those who are your spiritual team. We, everybody has one, a spiritual team, even if you're not aware of it. So pull that energy into you, feel it in your heart. And what is your gut feeling and that intuitive sense is probably the right direction to go and understand. Okay, Emily? So thank you, Keza. Thank you, Kerry ann Lovely to have you all here. I will leave it there. Um, being a Sunday, it's a wonderful day to spend with uh, in whatever you find joy in. And I keep forgetting to switch the screen around. <laughs> <laughs> there you go another button to press but it's a wonderful day to spend time with self or family or going out and doing things that you actually enjoy to do regardless of the weather there's always something that we can be in joy and happiness with it's not a state we have to be in constantly all the time because what we do need to experience in our life is the ups and downs so that we can learn those contrasts that we can feel into what we feel is the right way and right path and right learnings for us. So just take those steps forward and have fun doing it like a little child does in all that anticipation, the excitement, the adventures ahead because each and every step we take is a new experience. Thank you for being here. I'll be back again tomorrow morning around the 8 o'clock. Uh, who knows if I'll pop in the, pop through in the day as an ad hoc anything because I am playing around with Ecamm and might show up somewhere. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, keep being the best you that you can be and namaste until next time. Thank you. Bye for now.